Welcome to the StockMentor.com studios here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I'm your stock mentor, Brian Johnson. I'm making professional trading simple. And quite a run by the bears today. Uh, let's take a look at the markets, though, and show you kind of what, uh, what really happened uh, during the course of the day. We saw a very quick, fast, hard push down by the bears. And then it just kind of flatlined the rest of the day. Uh, really didn't go anywhere. Stayed within a trading range of about uh, five points or so. So there wasn't a lot of action once that big move down happened. So if we look at the markets, we can see that on the Dow, which I think is a really actually, I'm like, uh, I like looking at the Dow right now. I think it's a, a much cleaner chart than what we're getting on the S&P right now. But um, you can see here that we had this hard push down here, right back into a support area. This is uh, going to act, should act as very strong support down here. I would not be surprised to see maybe a small push below it just to retest the bottom of this trend line here and touch the 200 uh, period moving average on the 60 minute and then maybe a bounce from there. I was, I was uh, wondering if we might get it today and we didn't towards the end of the day. I, uh, I expected it to happen a little bit earlier in the day. told my subscribers to be watching for you know potential breakdown to certain areas and uh, it didn't, uh, didn't evolve. I really thought uh, it would, but we didn't see it today. So maybe we see it tomorrow, maybe in the overnight, maybe we gap down and open up here. I don't know. I think consumer confidence numbers come out tomorrow. So that might make a difference in where we start the day. Uh, anyway, things being as they are, you can see we're still in this big channel. Look at these big blue lines, uh, which means that really, um, you know, I'm still not overly bearish yet. I like what I'm seeing in here. I'm starting to get some very good uh, information in these moves here. But it, if we break this to the downside and get down into here, uh, as I spoke about uh, in the weekend video, this is really what I want to see from a bearish side. Until that happens, this is still, really for all practical purposes, could still be construed as just a big bull flag. So we still want to be cautious. Um, once again, I'm just letting the charts tell me what to do. I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm really not going to try to be overly bearish or overly bullish. I told you guys I'd love to get bearish, but I can't because the charts haven't told me that yet. They have told me to get bearish to a degree, but not to a really great degree uh, by any means. Quite, quite yet. Uh, so this still kind of looks like a big bull flag. Take a look at the Dow on a daily. Very, very logical place to end the day, right at the 20-day moving average. I don't think this is true of all the indices, so we'll have to take a look. But I know that the Dow finished uh, very nicely right here at the 20-day. Now, obviously, a push below that, I think you got to be looking for a bounce right here at this channel line. Uh, uh, not so sure that if we retest this channel line again, we don't break it, but I'm not uh, also not saying that we'll break it on the first try. That would be very bearish, actually, if we did. Uh, and then, you know, maybe ran straight to here without a pause or a break or something at this trend line. Um, but that's certainly below the 20 day. That's the next line of uh, support for the bulls. And then, of course, below that is the 50. If we find support here and kind of sit above this line for a while on uh, on a closing basis, then maybe we have some more push to the upside. Uh, my scenarios at this point are if we break this 20, I say that we pause or maybe bounce right here at the channel line. If we push below it, it's very bearish. Uh, if we bounce, I'm looking for it to come back up somewhere into this area here, right around the 10,000 area. And then I'm going to be watching it extremely closely to see if it's going to break back up and above the 10,000 area. If it doesn't and rolls back over, I think on that next repeated touch, then it breaks through. So I guess what I'm saying is if we touch the bottom of this ch channel line, and I've said it before, I'm not convinced that we make it to the top again. Uh, so we will be watching this very closely as we push forward. NDX on a 60 minute. You can see sideways action. Good. I mean, look at the, the big move straight down uh, by the uh, NASDAQ, but it, it it's still sideways. You draw two lines, one up here and one down here, and there's no direction. So there's no panic either way. There's no panic for the bears. There's no panic for the bulls. We're just in a trading range right now on the NASDAQ. 
Uh, if you want to take a look at the daily, this dotted line, of course, still holding as resistance. We haven't gotten back up there, but look at where we came back to this very strong line of support right at the 17, between the 1740 and the 1755 area. Uh, here we're, we're sitting right on a, a ledge of support. Below that obviously touches the 20. Then you have your channel. Then you have your 50. So it's still the NASDAQ overall still hanging a little bit stronger than what the rest of the market is. Uh, on a weekly, first day of the week, not going to worry about it too much. The SPX on a 60 minute. Now look where it's gone. Okay, it's actually closed below the 20 period moving average on the 60 minute. And you can attribute a lot of that, I think, to the banks. Banks did not do very well today, and that was a big reason that the S&P led things lower today. Uh, and it was the leader. It was it was down the most uh, of all the indices. So back here to a support area, though. This was a support line I had drawn in. Uh, once we got this breakdown here, I got some more information, was able to draw on this line. So this is just another support line. Uh, to go in conjunction with this one. I like that they're nice and parallel. It has closed below the 200, which is bearish, but you know we still have another day. We might see a bounce that takes us back up and above it. If you look at the Dow, you'll, you remember I, we're not below this yet. So we'll be watching the S&P tomorrow to see if we get a bounce. This one did close below the 20-day moving average. But interestingly enough, it found and stopped right at a previous trend line I had drawn in here. This one goes back just a little ways. Uh, it goes back even further than this. But you can see this thin little line that I might actually darken now since it's actually come back into play. And you can see that. Uh, so while it did break and close below the 20 day, it stopped right at this previous trend line. So we still have tomorrow uh, to see what happens in the markets do expect a little bit of a bounce tomorrow actually maybe a consolidation we've had some pretty big moves here now yet yeah, today was a pretty uh, big move to the downside uh, for day traders it's awesome you get you get a lot of movement in that and, and you like to you like to see that kind of movement when you're uh, when you're playing a, a day trade but as you can see right back to a support zone so yes it did close below the 20 but I'm not uber bearish on it yet because we're still at a previous line of support and the Dow has not broken the 20 it stopped at the 20. The SPX on a weekly, still one day into it, but this is interesting to watch. See how we've already broken out of this rising wedge, and now we're coming back to retest this previous uh, what was resistance area. So obviously we're one day into it. Maybe it breaks right through and comes down, and at the end of the week we close way down here. I don't know. I, still way too early. End of month is end of the week, so we will be watching these weeklies very closely towards uh, Thursday, Friday time frame. Fix on a daily had an incredibly good move to the upside option. Holders right now should be very happy with this. They made some good money on their options. A 10% move up on the VIX, which gives us that bounce off of this upper trend line we'd been talking about. And now a quick push up above the dotted line and this 20, uh, this 200 week moving average uh, right back to the 20 now granted it's not the end of the week so who knows what could happen by the end of the week but interesting to note that on the very first day it's already pushed up and above all of this so that's pretty good volatility for the VIX to uh, to start the week at 